Ooh, I broke that. Wow. It's like we got to go to Home Depot. All right, I'm looking at drill bits from all the brands. Yeah, that's, I'm not sure about that design, though. But DeWalt has one. Milwaukee. They have it right here. I might go with Milwaukee. That's Ryobi's. I think I'm gonna go with Milwaukee. See how Milwaukee handles up. All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are going to test out the four amp hour HP battery. Now this is the elephant in the room. This is the battery that not many people buy because of the three amp hour HP battery deals that they always have. And so like uh, this is on sale right now for $67, so I bought two of them. And they normally go for I think 110. No one really, bu no one really buys these or even tests them out. Because they say, why? I have the 3 amp hour HP battery instead. But the there is a difference when it comes to duration, you know, especially with using the lawnmower, of using a 3 amp hour HP to a, a, a regular gray 4 amp hour. But I, I have a black one right here. So we are going to do a versus video between the black 4 amp hour battery and the 4 amp hour HP battery. What we're going to do is we are going to use the brushless drill. Now this is not the hammer drill, it's a brushless drill. So, and we're also going to use the brushless hammer drill and we are also gonna use the brushless impact, the P238. All right, so when it comes to the size, the size of the batteries are the same. The actual physical size. We're just gonna do the four amp hour battery. The one though, for the black, for the one that's happening for the Black Friday sale. is a one inch and one eighth inch spade. And we're going to do the half inch and three quarter inch drills. All right, so first let's do the one inch spade. We are going to do two holes. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that's one hole. We're going to do one more. All right, so three. Two, one, go. Very good. All right, now we're going to keep the same bit. We're, we're going to do the HP battery. Four amp hour HP. Battery is full. All right, so three, two, that clears it. Three, two, one, go. That's one. Let's do this. All right, so three, two, one, go. And there we go. A one eighth inch spade. All right, that clears everything. We're gonna do two holes with the H with the regular four amp hour black battery. Battery is still full. All right, so three, two, one, go. And there we go. Do one more. It clears everything. All right, so three, two, one, go. Right, that broke that. That's all right. All right, we're gonna switch to the HP four amp hour battery. Battery is full. All right, this clears everything. So three, two, one, go. So 
Sorry, it went through. It just stopped at the end when it was through because it so some pieces of wood. All right, we're gonna do one more. All right, so three, two, one, go. Oh, sorry, that's reverse. That's right, I'll still use it. All right, so three, two, one, go. All right, that, that, that piece is messing everything up. A little piece of the corner broke off. That's breaking wood now. All right, so, you know what? We are gonna skip. We're gonna skip the half inch and just go straight to the three, go to the three quarter inch. All righty, so three quarter inch. We're gonna do two holes with the uh, four amp hour H, or just a regular four amp hour black battery. Uh, battery still full. Speed two, it's on drill. All right, so three, two, one, go. All Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so we're going to switch over to the 4 amp hour HP battery. 75%. 3, 2, 1, go. All Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, we're just going to do one test with the hammer drill. With the uh, three-quarter inch drill and the uh, uh, two holes for the four black four amp hour battery. All right, so three, two, one, go. There you go. And like I said in previous videos, this is my most used tool. I put this through extreme hell. The, the, uh, at one time, this got up to 170 degrees. So I do think it is time for a new uh, brushless hammer drill. I had that. I had this for over a year, and I abused this, dropped it, you name it. Because as you can see, even this. That's not supposed to move like that. So I, I think I need a new hammer drill. All right, so now we got the four amp hour HP battery, three bars, speed two, it's on drill. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> wow, not bad, not bad. Alrighty, for this test, we have a fresh HP fully charged, 4 amp hour HP, and we have a fresh black 4 amp hour regular battery. So what we are going to do is we are going to drive in some lags and see how they do. I'm not going to even bother with Timberlock because Timberlock is nothing for this tool. So we are just going to do some lag screws. For this test, we are, we are going to use Tac Life's impact rated sockets. That and that, perfect. Awesome. We're gonna skip the small ones. We are gonna do two eight inch and two 10 inch. So let's see what these can do. All right, so for a regular black four amp hour battery, battery's full, it's on speed three. All right, so three, two, one, go.
Ooh, I broke that. Wow. And so I got the Milwaukee uh, half inch socket adapter. We are going to test this out. And I'm, I'm only going to get one. If this snaps in time, because I do this a lot, so these don't last long with me. So then if uh, this one fails, I'm going to try Makita. Makita's half inch adapter. So. All right, so let's uh, continue. Uh, we're just gonna run the clock exactly where it was. All right, so three, two, one, go. That's that. All right, so that's the end of that. All right, so that is the four amp hour regular black battery. Now we're going to go to the 4 amp hour HP battery and do the same. Alright, so right here is just fine. Alright, so 3, battery is full, speed 3. Alright, so 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so that's time. That is time. Now, considering how uh, much this struggled to put 8 inch uh, lag screws, we are not going to do the, the 10 inch because uh, this just isn't powerful enough to do it with ease. It is going to majorly struggle the last three, uh, last 3 to 4 inches of the lag screw. But we are going to take these out. We are going to use, we are going to take uh, each battery is going to take out its the uh, other. All right, so battery is at 75%. We're going to take out the regular 4 amp hour battery lag. All right, so 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> That's that. All right, so three, two, one, go. I can tell that there was a major difference between the regular 4 amp hour and the 4 amp hour HP. So that's pretty much concludes the test for this. So, uh, like I, uh, please join uh, Ryobi Rebels. Uh, it is a, it is my Facebook group. Uh, we have 2.2 thousand members in it. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for the to be notified of when I upload videos, which is pretty much almost every day. Uh, I do suggest you guys pick up a couple of 4 amp hour HP batteries because you might as well. They're on sale right now for $47, $67, I believe. So that's like about a $40 to $30 uh, savings. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.